Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Receiver 2 tonight. So I took the liberty uh, after stream last time when we did this, and last Wednesday, I think. I took the liberty of getting us back uh, to whatever rank we had stopped at, like rank 2 or something, uh, since it now appears that we will derank every time we die. Uh, that's going to be a small problem, um, but we're going to do our best here. We're going to do our best to... Uh, to do what we can and not die and rank down. So let's you know, let's do it. Let's do it. We only gotta find five tapes. And presumably and we only need to deal with the uh with the freestanding uh turrets, which you know aren't exceedingly difficult to get around. Um uh so we're probably more a danger to ourselves than uh, than the turrets are a danger to us. So let's just do what we can. Yeah, let's just do what we can. Um so we just need to find five tapes. We can find five tapes. Easy peasy, right? Easy. Very easy. Just gotta pay attention to our surroundings, listen for stuff. Uh, actually, how much, um... How many bullets do we have? <laughs> how many bullets do we have? Do we have a few? Okay, we got an extra seven after this one. Uh, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, okay. Alright. Well, you know what? No problem. No problem. This will be fine. I don't know if they can see too far up there, can they? We're also going to do our best to probably aim for some of the more obvious weak points, too. Like, we've always been... I've always been trying to shoot, like, this big center area, right? Because we've had pretty good luck getting, you know, just one-shots on them, but... Um, uh, the box in the back that holds the ammo and the camera in the front are sometimes slightly easier to hit so we're gonna we're gonna change our targeting a little bit uh to see if we can have a have a better go of things hey my girlfriend how you doing good to see you um but we'll, we'll see how this goes we'll see how this goes um just gonna look to not get shot <laughs> just gonna look to not get shot so we can move on here There now, too. Is that one doing the whole 360 sweep? It is. Okay. So we will just approach at our leisure here. Oh. <laughs> I missed it. Fuck. There we go. Now, I think it did actually load around, so... Oomph. Let's go. Oh, okay, I think it has now expended its own thing. So I'm gonna. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. Just making sure we got it. Uh. So can we actually get the ammo out of here? Or... Yeah. What? Oh boy, one bullet. Gee, thanks. Okay. Well, it's better than before. <laughs> better than before. All right. Let's read. Let's reload, reload, reload. Okay, good. You came across the realization the other day, I think there's something wrong with the media and the people around. <laughs> I don't know, have you been noticing the, the creeping decay and dysfunction or whatever the fuck it was? Oh, okay, so this there's one. This is designed to test your focus in the face of distraction. Maintain focus on your breathing. On my breathing, huh? <laughs> How did you do? <laughs> That's the silliest. Attention the wandered. silliest tape. That is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Without judgment. Let's try again. Good job. Whoa! Jeez! Wow! Almost walked into that one. Good job. Oh my god. <laughs> um, excuse me. That was kind of scary. <laughs> oh no. Well, damn it. <laughs> Back we go. <laughs> Son of a bitch. 
Ah. Uh. Oh, well, okay, good. It's good. It's a real good start there. Real good start. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Let's just hurry this up and get back to our normal rank. <laughs> uh, fudge. Luckily, I don't think we can get deranked any lower than what we are right now, so... This is fine. Oh, jeez. Good thing that wasn't loaded, huh? Now it is. This one doesn't have a safety on it, unfortunately, so we can't even do that. That was the one that had just targeted me before. Up there. Cheeky fucker! There. No longer be a problem for us. This building... This... Oh, this place... It um, doesn't make much sense. Uh... Like, while I know this isn't the same room as... Just before, in case this is one of them weird ones. feels familiar. We're gonna... Unload. <laughs> it's more like a fictional place Jeez, than giving the me real world. Mag's hand over fist here. It's... It's like someone made copies of. Okay, of no, this one's this one's a safe one. What am I doing? The original intent of all the objects uh, long ago. Okay, that one's safe. It's when it is less than like perfectly cadenced out that I uh, I get a little nervous that it's one of those weird like trap tapes. <laughs> so then I quickly unload and, and hope for the best. Here's that time we were safe. Usually when we blow apart all of these, that makes them extremely easy to hack later on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there's definitely more than one of those, so we just gotta be careful, you know? Gotta be careful with this stuff. Uh, ah, there it is. Receivers know that the biggest predictor of success is true, true grit. grit. The ability to maintain resolve in the face of adversity. <laughs> The oh, there was a door over there. Trade Oops. Uh oh. Oh, don't! <laughs> oh, Oops. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. I think it rotates counterclockwise. Nope, rotates clockwise. Alright, you know what? That's fine. There we go. <sighs> okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I did play a significant amount of uh, Receiver 1 again before, before we came back here tonight, so... Unfortunately, I'm kind of not used to safetying the weapon before we holster unholster, so I might end up taking a few rounds to my leg through my own fault. Hopefully we reaccustom ourselves to that in short order. Um... Oof. That is had to be the worst aiming turret we've ever had. He had me dead to rights on that ladder. And yet... And yet... I survived. I'm 
surprised. I'm surprised I survived any of that. You have seen the signs around you. <laughs> have we seen the, the signs around creeping, us? Creeping, <laughs> and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong something with the media wrong. and the people around you. Yeah. You know that you are different. Oh, this is why here. you are ready to become a receiver. Like you have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative I thought I heard another one over here somewhere. Your environment. Did I not hear that? Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We okay, use yeah, tapes was as one. part of this technique. <clears throat> like over in this. You must listen to them to advance. Yeah, I can barely hear it. Yeah, no, it's extremely loud here, but where to F? It's up above. The floor above. Can we get up there from here? Is there a ladder on this one? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Someone we shot off before. Fuck. The fuck was it? I want the hay ho. It was in the tank room before, right? Yeah. But where? Oh, in the corner. Nice. While some concepts are useful, others okay. are two out of five. Opposite. These terminating thoughts take complex and useful ideas and turn them into a simplistic cliche that is as incorrect as it is useless. The appeal of these thoughts is that they give a false feeling of certainty and authority, but they block true mental development. The functional mind questions and observes. It looks inward at the form of ideas applied in the mind as well as outward in the world. It views uncertainty as the twin sibling of curiosity. The dead mind is constructed of terminating thoughts. There is no room for feelings beyond a <laughs> fragile nice mockery of self-satisfaction. <laughs> Personality is replaced with rote, checkbox ticking behavior and reactivity. Human interaction becomes Parents. a grotesque parody where anything that doesn't fall neatly into a simplistic taxonomy of behavior gets ignored or assaulted. This causes a person to become oh, less hit something there. Until, I think I got the camera on it. They vanish. <clears throat>
Control your breathing as you approach the door, slowly slicing the pie as you go. You are in the fatal funnel now as you move in a semicircle past the door, but don't rush. Jeez. See the second one that Focus beyond that somehow got a bead on me. Let your body aim for you. Breathe. Corner's clear. It's time to choose a direction and commit. <laughs> Left or right? Which way lies victory? Which way, death? Only one way to find out. Breathe. Don't dawdle in the doorway. You're a silhouette and that's where the guns are aimed. And sweep the room smoothly to encompass the whole space. There. Okay. It's a difficult thing, but practice makes perfect. Slow is smooth. Fuck. Smooth is fast. She scared me. All right. Hey, Valiant Cheese. How you doing? Good to see you. Moving mechanics like they are in the first game? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit smoother. Um, and there's the option to turn off the, the rapid tap for sprint, which is fun and cool. Good accessibility. Um, I actually kind of like leaving it on, though, because it makes it a little bit more tense. Um, oh, geez, there's one up there, too? Or is it the same one I've been looking at? I think there's two of them. Yeah, there has to be two of them. There's that motherfucker there. Okay. No, no longer a threat. Then there's a second one up there. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Let's just move past that for for a second. And in case I decide to double back here for some Stupid reason, I'm gonna go take care of that other one, too. So there's a tape around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, Experiences or feelings connected to events. Or was if it an all event way over there? Hmm. Negative hmm. feelings happens hmm. often enough, hmm. or is especially intense, it can create a phobic reaction. Okay, I'm Even a little bit out of range. Even after from these events, these phobic elements can persist okay let's just kind of set ourselves up next, here like water flowing down a river and like water flowing these thoughts can carve <laughs> in stone there good enough given enough time trauma is like a boulder in the river and over time a correct sequence of thoughts can okay. cut and shape it Ooh, we are full on eventually nice. allowing the thoughts to pass safely and smoothly around them Stubborn little boy. All right. Okay. All right. Just need to get one more. And I hear it. I hear it singing to me. Ah, we got it. I can't take... This uh oh, uh, shit, 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 There's no point to anything. Empty. <laughs> just killing time until okay. the death of the Oof. universe. Nobody will remember us. Nobody cares if, if I gotta live or quickly die. empty the chambers there. It's just mold on an orange. So, uh, content warning, this is Don't actually kind of unsettling. Goodbye. A little unsettling, I'm not doing that. Oof. Whew. That definitely got me the first time, though. It definitely did. But now that we're aware of it... Ah, oh, two blocked cylinders. You jerks. Okay, this one's also... Uh clockwise rotation. All right. Whew. All right. <laughs> Here we are, yet again, back to our normal rank. So if we take a round of the skull this time, we rank down, and we gotta redo that. So let's not do that. <laughs> uh, do I have a... Okay, do a flashlight this time. Novices often start with snub nose revolvers, like the Detective Special, because they look small and friendly. Such a small weapon must have light recoil, right? Light recoil. 
wrong, right? It kicks almost <laughs> twice as hard as a full-size revolver like the Model 10. They fire the same cartridge, but snubbies have less mass to dampen the acceleration, so it kicks like a mule. Uh, also, contrary to popular belief, the short barrel does not make the snub nose inherently inaccurate. If you shoot it five times from the exact same position with a ransom rest, you can get a two-inch group at 20 yards, which is better than most humans can achieve with a top-tier target pistol. However, in practice, it is very hard to shoot accurately because the front and it's rear sights over there are somewhere. so close together. Okay. okay, there's one down below. There's one across the way. I hear a different, sing different one singing to me somewhere. Very light when we were in this area. Okay, just a little bit further on here. There it is. Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but the potential is yet to be realized. We have sent the message. <clears throat> Can you hear it? Subtitle say sights, T E S instead of sights, and in G H T S. Uh, maybe. <laughs> moving through your Wasn't media. paying attention to the subtitle. We it very well could have. It very well could have. I will. Uh, spread dysfunction. When we invariably have to pick up that tape again, we I'll take a look at it. That was a threat. Focused on we something have else. A technique called mind tech to combat this yeah. threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and to prepare you. Oh, 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 receiver two, come on, no. Oh, that's a hard crash. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah, shit. I guess this is about the time, well, no, it's about half the time we would have needed to uh, restart it anyways. Because of ye old jankiness, but. Ah. Shoot. Well. That'll probably at least, at the very least, it'll start me at the beginning of that section, right? But it's going to make me go back and re-get those two or three tapes that we had. <sighs> All right. I wonder if it put them in the same spots. Which would be important if I remembered where they were. That one. In 1919, the threat found a way to severely damage America by convincing the feds to prohibit drugs. Uh, kicking off a century of rampant gang warfare. Organized criminals suddenly found themselves with a state-enforced monopoly on alcohol and used this windfall to buy bulletproof vests and automatic weapons that made the police 38 long Colt revolvers look like pea shooters. To fight back, the police modified their Model 10 revolvers to accept a new kind of cartridge, the 38 Special, which could punch right through the gangster's armor. Mm -hmm. Undercover detectives felt left out, so Colt created the first modern snub nose mm -hmm. revolver, the Detective Special. Mm -hmm. It was small enough to easily conceal, but Looks still like strong enough to going on here. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> hit, selling mm -hmm. more than a million units and prompting a wave of mm -hmm. concealed carry laws. Uh. Hmm. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> gonna set ourselves in a nice safe zone. Deal with it one at a time. No fuss, no muss. Bonk. Whew. Okay.
All right. Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but the potential is yet to be realized. We have sent mm. the message. Can you hear it? There is an insidious force moving through your media. Don't think there's anything in there anyway, that's right. And causing widespread okay. dysfunction. We call this the threat. We have developed a technique called Mind Tech to combat this threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and prepare you. Nice. All right, we're getting better at not just rushing in, <coughs> rushing in blindly here. It looks like we got one round left there. All right, that's not going to stand. Composer who worked on this, the composer he's doing Winter's Wake with you. All right. Neat. That's pretty cool. The, like, the the audio and music design in this is really fantastic. Minimal, but it gets the point across, like, super well. I love it. Shit. Man, they're being real cheeky. We are putting those tapes under the turret. I don't carefully like that. Monitor what we put into our bodies. We I need don't to like eat it. this and avoid that, and have this other thing in moderation. But we are never taught how to curate what we put into our minds. There's no use having a healthy body if if your mind is poisoned. No, the threat has all used things in moderation too. Remove choice over what you consume. If you uncritically view media, you are directly oh, allowing the threat to, to infiltrate your thoughts or is that gonna and be number compromise five? your brain hmm. from the inside. With the rise of powerful hmm. concealed weapons, that might have been number five. Special, along Let's should stop running around and let this last one play out. The NRA Just in case. Concealed carry restrictions that passed in almost every state. Um, starting in the 70s, they changed well, their mind, mind and started there. aggressively campaigning to repeal those same laws. Until now, concealed carry is permitted in most parts of the USA. They still vary widely from state to state, so if you want to concealed carry, it's a good idea to learn the laws where you live. They're probably different than you expect. It's also important to learn the laws about when it's legal to use concealed weapons in self-defense. Now, they say Jeez. it's better to be tried by 12 seven, than carried by 6. Seven but tapes instead of five, I guess, just to drive the point home. Time for murder or manslaughter. Before choosing to concealed carry, you need to, at the very least, understand the five pillars of self-defense. Innocence, imminence, reasonableness, avoidance, and proportionality. Self-defense laws only protect you if you did not provoke an attack. The attack was clearly imminent there was a reasonable threat of injury or death, you did everything you could to avoid the threat, and you used the minimum possible amount of force in proportion to the threat. A thought is not just an Shoot, idea, Shoot, it's gonna play through all of them that I picked up. Dang it. <laughs> I probably should have not it picked up the last one. All right, you know what, that's fine. We'll just have a squat here. Cold, like a firearm or buoyant, just have a squat here and have a little sip. After the mind kill, when things seem at their most hopeless, remember that there are other receivers out there. Have a little These sip and wait for our enlightenment here. Up 
and keep you afloat. And then maybe in this next it rank, we'll see the little floaty drones, huh? Not get weighed down in the face of adversity. It can help you survive the mind kill. Now, as strange as it sounds, we've received transmissions indicating that some receivers have dreamed balloons into existence, containing helpful items. These receivers have usually achieved the highest levels of mental strength, maintaining a certain lightness of thought, even when facing the end of their reality's timeline. A certain lightness of thought. There we go. We did it. We did it. Achieved Sleepwalker. <laughs> Great. What an improvement. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we got a new gun, too. 5.9 millimeter. Whew. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Actually, ooh, oh, now it's getting all ambient and shit. A thunderstorm going on? Let's see. How many rounds we got to work with? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Don't exactly like it. Oh, safety's up? There we go. Okay. Hmm. Ah, I see, so it already had one chambered. Okay. Okay. Now let's not cock this up immediately and go bank a rank. That would be embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Be on the lookout for new threats. I'm expecting we'll find <clears throat> the flying drones this go around. Yep. That fucking smug ass motherfucker up there, huh? Think we can get it from here? We're gonna try. There. Eat shit. Well, it's still not entirely disabled, but we did get it after all. We get... Oh, we don't get ammo out of this one, though. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll have to be careful. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, they're trying to be all sorts of clever. Oh, I got. Oh, shit, 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 shit. There was a turret around the corner, too. Damn it. Ah, come on! Fuck. Hmm. Man. I don't know if I agree with that. Shouldn't have been deranked. I took two of them with me. <sighs> you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Now we know that the next rank we gotta watch out for flyers too. That's that's a thing that we got. That's information we have gained. So it's not all a big loss.
heard something too. It wasn't that disc that was singing out to us. There we go. The threat will not need to kill us if it can get us to shoot each other. Now, instances of misidentification are common in firearm related accidents, resulting in dead friends and family. This often happens in situations with poor <laughs> visibility. We are unsure what the post mine kill environment will be like, so it's critical to positively identify or, or PID your targets. This is why you need to keep a flashlight available. <laughs> now, imagine this scenario. You're woken up by a crash in the night, and you take out your gun to investigate. You see a shadowy figure lurching towards you. You open fire, and it's down on the ground. You're a hero. You defended your household. Or did you? For all you know, it was a family member stumbling around in the dark. Or your neighbor got drunk and thought your house was his. Or, you know, a police officer read the address wrong on a warrant. In the dark, a gun without a flashlight is worse than useless. A recipe for tragedy. Can't see up here. The okay. vast majority of shootings take place in low light conditions. So if you have a gun, you should also have a light. Uh, now, first, you need it to identify your target to be sure that there's an imminent deadly threat. Second, you can use it as a weapon in its own right. A proper self-defense flashlight is bright enough to temporarily blind a human attacker, which can go far in convincing them to surrender or leave. This, however, will not work on a kill drone. The flashlight is a great tool that has many uses, but it is only as good as the operator wielding it. When using a flashlight in hostile environments, make mm. sure you use it appropriately. And remember, using it lights you up like a Christmas tree and will help your enemy as much as you if you're not careful. So with this in mind, use your flashlight sparingly. Turn it on briefly and scan your surroundings. Second one. It off and move. Little so bitch. your enemy can't zone in on your location. Make this a habit, and your flashlight will save you time and again when you find yourself in a too far spot. to drop down, probably? Almost certainly. Okay, I know it's got one round left in it, so we're gonna have to be a little careful. There. Okay, it popped it off. <clears throat> and this one I think we popped as well, yeah? Yeah, okay. So that one's fine. <sighs> Good gravy. What, you, what do you think you have on me, huh? You got nothing. <laughs> you got nothing, you fucker. Can you get that guy from down here? Yeah, just barely. <sighs> okay, I think we got lucky we didn't get tagged by any of those. Because we can take one and survive, but... Not so certain that we got off completely free with that. Oh, look at this motherfucker. Yep. Alright, well, I just want what's in the balloon. <laughs> Putting flying drones in this now, too? Aw, oh, crap. Well, I hit him. <laughs> I think I might have hit his ammo supply there. Because it looked like he dropped an awful lot of shit there. For just uh, a grazing blow. Oh, that was close. Okay. Feel better just knocking him out of the sky entirely, honestly. Get a little closer, we'll pop him another one. Ooh, there's a second one up there, huh? Eat shit. 
Oh. Fudge and fudge, fudge, fudge. Okay. Okay. I think. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the one we capped one into, right? Yeah. We'll just go this way. I don't even need to deal with that. Oh, it's double backed on ourselves. Okay. That's that's fine. That's fine. Just a little breather as we head on back. <laughs> oh. What the heck was that? He just redropped his shit. He's all sparky and shit now. That's making me nervous, so... <laughs> yeah, what's wrong, fuckface? Wow, really did a number on him. Ah, let's put him out of his misery. There we go. some new info about them too, but we know all we need to know about those guys. Ooh. Okay, a flyer and we've got a turret. Uh, take high ground here. Goddamn, is it gonna drop me back another rank? It sure as fuck is, isn't it? Yep. Ugh. Hmm. <laughs> shit. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Fuck. 
All right, so I'm guessing the drones will still be unlocked for us, though, so we're still going to have to keep an eye on the skies. Almost certainly. I mean, I can dig, like, our progression being unlocked so we, uh, we keep our fancy guns and we keep the extra enemy types or whatever. Like, that's okay. The idea that we're going to have to re-listen to these tapes that we've heard, like, a dozen times now is going to be a little bit you know, less okay. Sure, there's not a second one hanging out around here. The body and mind are linked. Physical actions are a manifestation of mental actions. Thus, training to protect the body also protects the mind. Controlling your environment controls your thoughts. You, your body, and your environment are part of a larger whole. Control your thoughts. Control your body. Control your environment. And control your fate. What is the fundamental characteristic of balance? A stone, perfectly balanced, doesn't move. It is this precarious lack of motion, but with so much potential, that's remarkable. Now, to balance the mind, one needs to bring ideas and feelings into alignment, where they are neither random nor stagnant, equally outward and inward, neither entirely positive nor negative. Within this narrow space of calmness lies the mind's potential. Failure to find balance results in a chain reaction of cascading thoughts and feelings, like a stone falling out of place, running into the next with no end and no control. A thought is not just an idea, but also a way of thinking that idea. It can have different qualities, uh, heavy, smooth and cold like a firearm, or buoyant, ephemeral and warm like a balloon. After the mind kill, when things seem at their most hopeless, remember that there are other receivers out there. These thoughts will raise you up and keep you afloat. If you can train your mind, it also raises me up and keeps me afloat. A nice stiff ass it drink. Help you survive the mind kill. Mm. Now, as strange as it sounds, we've received especially when I get deranked for a wayward fart or something into existence, containing helpful items. Okay, there's one over there. These receivers have usually achieved the highest levels of mental strength, Oop. maintaining a certain of thought even when facing the end of the Ooh, boy. Okay.
Any of these are unrestricted, are they? Seen oh science. no, not <laughs> the decay and dysfunction again. Come on, I thought we had gotten away from that. Decay and dysfunction. Yeah. I have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight by continually listening to these tapes you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment once you have absorbed these tapes you will have taken mm -hmm. the first step towards going to the kitchen <laughs> true self slightly less of a problem the media is a threat we have a technique to help we use tapes as part of this technique you must listen to them to advance. I can hear it. Where is it? I just, come on, I just need one more. There it is. Under the turret, you cheeky buggers. In a disordered mind, fear and doubt will often attack cheeky buggers. whatever events are happening at that moment. These misattributed, diverted things can become habitual compared to the problem of accurate things. This leads to confusion, impaired decision making, and more anxiety in a damaging feedback loop. By grounding thoughts in the past, this there. Fuck you. <laughs> Where are you? What time and year is it? Who are you? What are you doing at this exact moment? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you really hear? What do I really hear? What I really hear is us re-ranking up. <laughs> and we unlock the Nachivo for something? Hmm. For ranking up at the high point, I see. Okay. Let's need to rank up again to get back to where we were. Although I didn't see any, um... I didn't see any flyers in that one, did I? Curious. Curious, curious. This one. Tape insight, you'll jump to the next rank. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, that is good to know. Like, I'm not to that point of frustration yet. Um, because I think every mistake that I've been making is 100% on me. But if I do get fed up with that, I will remember. <laughs> I will remember and be like, you know what? No, fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. We ain't getting deranked for some bullshit. All right. Uh, we're in the corner there. Second one there, you cheeky fuckers. Ooh, they really they got a good crossfire set up here. I might have to do take a couple distant shots. Please don't fire through the boxes. <laughs> okay, it should be good from here. There we go. Except it had one and in... did I get its camera that time? I think I 
did. All right. Good. <laughs> Out of ammo, of course. Oh, wait. That one's still active. Shot through the balloon, even. Okay. <laughs> no tapes, but a tense standoff with two of them. Second one up there, too. Shit, 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 shit. 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 It's okay. That one was my fault too, honestly. I got distracted. Should have dealt with uh, the thread I had my eyeball on rather than the one that was above me. But I didn't. So it's my fault. I shot three for three. something around here. Hmm. 
Jeez. Oof. Sheesh. Oof. Power pointy on me now. I think it is. Crap. Well, well, I guess I haven't gotten any tapes, so it doesn't matter. Hey. <laughs> Every forty minutes, like like clockwork, almost. Every forty minutes, it just gets too big for its britches. And it's like, you know what? You better restart it. I'm like, okay, I guess. Okay, I guess. Did it put me back to where I was? I don't think I've ever seen a spawn out here like that. Maybe it did just kind of put me back. Oh yeah, I just capped that motherfucker down there. Huh. I guess when I manually quit like that and it doesn't hard crash out, it actually saves my spot. That's pretty nice. So even if we had collected a tape at that point, it wouldn't have mattered. The body and mind are linked. Physical actions are a manifestation of mental actions. Thus, training to protect the body also protects the mind. Controlling your environment controls your thoughts. You, your body, and your environment are part of a larger whole. Control your thoughts. Control your body. Control your environment. And control your fate. No fate, but what we make. Yada, yada, yada. I saw Terminator as well. Good movie. Very good movie. Ooh. Another one singing out to me. There it is. If you want a gun that's half as good for a quarter of the price, the high point is the way to go. Now, it might make you the laughing stock of the shooting range, but you can dry your tears with all the money you've saved. They're so cheap that High Point offers a transferable lifetime warranty, whether you buy it first, second, or 11th hand, though they're so heavy that shipping it back generally costs more than just buying a replacement. High Point is something of a gateway gun. Those who have sense about getting into firearms will often buy one to test out the idea before saving up for a real one. It can also be used as a cheap backup for those who want to keep one in their truck or boat or anywhere else their friends won't see it. The High Point even has cheap taste in cartridges. It likes simple ball ammo, but can easily choke on fancy hollow point rounds. Oh, well, that makes it pretty worthless as a home defense pistol, then. In the face of frustration, it's normal mm. to feel anger and disappointment. Receivers are trained to understand uh, and accept these feelings and allow them to I flow see through their the mind unobstructed light beam, but where the fuck the is other it? Side, leaving only clarity and resolve. Yeah, uh, let's see. Up there. a nice easy target there try to psych me out with these uh, bluish purplish ambient lights too 
Jerks. Cooper's fourth One rule more. of gun safety is to know your target and what is beyond it. Bullets can penetrate a lot farther than most people think. Um, how many interior sheetrock walls do you think a typical 9mm bullet will go through? One? Uh, two? More like 20. In a typical gunfight, more shots miss than hit, but all Bingo. bullets end up somewhere. Unless you live okay. in I should area, probably just wait no this out then before I rush into some family and neighbors at risk. stupid Even idiot turret like rounds, over there, huh? Miss or fail to expand. The safest choice for an effective internal home defense weapon in a populated area is a pump action shotgun loaded with a small buckshot or large birdshot. We live in a world in which hostile thoughts and ideas are constantly present in the media pressing in on our consciousness. Events are often also outside of our control, outside of our control, but not outside of control. Others use these concepts and events to create this anxiety. Thoughts flow in a sequence, and by inserting harmful media into your life, your thoughts can be hijacked. Once you are behaving in a reactive state, you will spread these contaminated ideas to others, allowing them to degrade more people. Mm -hmm. Not today, Chief. Practice Not today. basic media <laughs> safety. Control your information environment. Act, don't react. We did it again. <laughs> ah, okay. Got yourself a partner, huh? Okay, then. any fun.
Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but the potential is yet to be realized. We have sent the message. Can you hear it? Yes, I can hear it. There is like these tapes over and over. Yes, of course I can hear it. Ah. Moving through your media, weakening the mind, and causing widespread dysfunction. We call this the threat. We have developed a technique Very, called... Very, uh, clever Mind name there, fellas. To combat I think of something a bit more catchy. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and to prepare you. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, I've always been uh, such a disappointment. Uh, uh, I would have um, just kept getting more. Okay. <laughs> Whew. I can't stand. All right, well, look away. Things are about to get heavy. Any longer. I hope one day you can forgive me. I love you. I'm sorry. I think we even left the safety on that time. Like, good going us. Yeah. Oh no, we didn't. It was just empty. Okay. Whew. I still heard the danger music going on there. Is there another? Another tape somewhere back here. Maybe not. Hmm. Flyers, huh? Got him. <laughs> there's, a, there's either another flyer or a turret around the corner. Turret. All right. Up and around. Up and around. Looks like there's another one up there as well. That's... that sounded like a new beep. Looks like a normal-ass turret, but it sounded new. Shit. Nailed the rack one. Am I out? Was what another flyer and a turret, or was it just the turret in the corner? Is it just that turret over there? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Charged the shit now too. Good. I feel like there's a second one though. Aha! Yeah, he's right. Wow, right behind the post. You little shit bags. There. Let's take care of that little problem.
think this one discharged its thing, right? Guess we shouldn't take a chance on it. Just in case. Still only got two of five tapes. <laughs> Feels like we've been doing this for ten minutes. We should have more than two. Uh, there's no need to rush. No need to rush. When we rush, we get into trouble. there. There's a flyer out there too. Bastards. Oh, I hear him. Oh, he sounded real close. I think we got him out of there. Hope we got him out of there. <laughs> Saw him kind of fly off. <laughs> not making any, not taking any chances on that. Rather just have him fully disabled and not have to worry about it. is around in there. Okay. <sighs> okay. One over in that corner, too, huh? Okay, should be safe crawling down. <laughs> it's got that wedge covered. Guarding the vast tank. majority of shootings <laughs> take place in <laughs> low-light conditions, so if you have a gun, you should also have a light. Uh, now first, you need it to identify your target, to be sure that there's an <sighs> imminent deadly threat. Okay. Second, you can use it as a weapon in its own right. A proper self-defense flashlight is bright enough to Ooh, temporarily blind a human attack, there. which can go far in convincing them to surrender or leave. This, however, will not work on a kill drone. The flashlight is, <laughs> but it is only as good as the operator wielding it. Fuck. <laughs> when using a flashlight in hostile environments, Ooh, make sure okay. you use it uh, and Remember, using it to do a, a, like a distance a shot here as much as I hate it. Your enemy as much as you, if you're not careful. So with this in mind, use your flashlight sparingly. Turn it on briefly, scan your surroundings, there we go. turn it off and move, so your enemy can't zone in on okay, your location. Make sure it's not make loaded, it good. And your flashlight will save you time and again when you find yourself in a tight spot. Alright, find the second one now and deal with it. The top? It's up top, second floor. Bastard. Scare me like that. <laughs> up there. Okay. Jeez. Alright. Oh, 
Just need to get the fire off its last round there, thank you. Oh, damn. I didn't get tagged by either of those either, but oh boy, that was scary. Close your eyes and imagine that you are a cloud floating over the city. Breathe in one, two, three, four, hold one, two, three, four, breathe out. And shit's One, popping off all around me. I ain't got time for three, breathing exercises. Four. Pause. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. Imagine a kill drone weaving between the buildings. Hold. The drone looks up, seeing the dark cloud. Breathe out. It starts flying towards cover. Pause. Bang. Lightning blasts it to sparkling pieces. Breathe in. Breathing is vital to life. In order to project deadly force with precision, a receiver temporarily becomes one with death and pauses the breath. Okay, one more. One more, we can get back to where we were. <laughs> you scary. Mother. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Come on. Why didn't they give it up? Come on. They always gave up like after a solid three count before. Why the? Ah, you bitch. Okay, well. Lesson learned. Shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. I was slow with that, wasn't I? Ugh. Guess not. The rivalry between Colt and Smith. Fat fingered two buttons at once. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie.
Yeah, the detective special is probably my least favorite. Like, I can deal with the... Deal with the Model 10. At least that's got some pop to it. The, the snub nose is not my favorite. Take the door. Nope, <laughs> it's closed. All right. I want in. Let me in. <laughs> Damn it. You have seen the signs. Ah, oh, yes, we've seen the signs of. Oh, two for one. Nice. creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become, ready to become a receiver. A receiver. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Mm -hmm. Indecision and anxiety no are stipulation as to how many times I need to listen to them thoughts, to advance. Ideas, Bastards. And weight, and potential. They exist in a sequence linked to other concepts that precede and and follow them. Mental exercises will forge these broken links in an unbreakable chain to harness your will. back far enough from that glass, but I guess not. down there. Yeah, I'm just gonna safely skip over that. Slow. Too slow, bitch. Oh, come on. That counted for 
<laughs> can we can we make this? Gotta go whoop bonk. Oh. second one. I hear it. Where is it? Oh, no, it's this thing. I just shot off the camera. <laughs> Thank one of the most you. Common pistol malfunctions is known as the stovepipe or failure to eject, uh, so-called because it looks like a stovepipe is sticking out of the side of the gun. This usually happens when the shooter is not holding the weapon firmly enough to provide a stable shooting platform. This is called limp wristing and is a common trait of non 1911 owners. Let's see a doctor about like that. Like most malfunctions, this can be cleared with the tap rack bang drill. Just smack the base of the magazine hard, rack the slide back and release, and bang, shoot the target. You have seen the signs. Oh, you. gradual decay and dysfunction. The gradual creeping. Again, decay with the decay and the and dysfunction. dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. Mm. You have been issued a series Apparently of not audio ready enough tapes like, keep that are part of our dunked by dumbass turrets. Inside. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment once you have absorbed these tapes you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self mm -hmm. the media is a threat mm -hmm. we have a technique to help <laughs> we use tapes as part of this technique you must listen to them to it mm -hmm. all semi-automatic firearms have a chamber at the start of the barrel where they ready the next round you can use this space to load one more shot than you might expect uh, for example the 1911 magazine normally only holds seven rounds but if you insert it into the gun crack the slide to load wrong button wrong button <laughs> Fuck, wrong button. It's okay. That's okay. We're 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 learning, I think, slowly. We're learning slowly. Remember to keep order of operations in my mind.
little off the top. The threat will not need to kill us if it can get us to shoot each other. Now, instances of misidentification are common in firearm-related accidents, resulting in dead friends and family. This often happens in situations with poor visibility. We are unsure what the post-mine kill environment will be like, so it's critical to positively identify, or, or PID, your targets. This is why you need to keep a flashlight available. Now, imagine this scenario. You're woken up by a crash in the night, and you take out your gun to investigate. You see a shadowy figure lurching towards you. You open fire and sit down on the ground. You're a hero. You defended your household. Or did you? For all you know, it was a family member stumbling around in the dark. Or your neighbor got drunk and thought your house was his. Or, you know, a police officer read the address wrong on a warrant. In the dark, a gun without a flashlight is worse than useless. A recipe for tragedy. Sing to me. This meaningless oh, existence anymore. There's no point to anything. We're, we're just killing time until the heat death of the universe. Nobody will remember us. Nobody cares. All right. If, if Look away I for a bit. Or die. All of humanity is just mold on an orange. I don't even know why I'm writing this. Goodbye. Of course, it's entering PowerPoint mode, too, while we do it. It's even more unsettling. Ugh. Annoying. <laughs> Alright, so we had two tapes there, yeah. Hopefully it comes back with two tapes. And beware the fury of those who are patient. Well, that's actually good advice. <laughs> I'm a very patient and or stubborn man. <sighs> Two tapes. Very good. faintly down below.
Jeez, wow, the radius in some of those is weird. Radical Islamic insurgents in the Philippines in 1899, when they politely asked the Moro people to stop enslaving Christians. U.S. soldiers were used to fighting enemies who would surrender when shot, or at least make some attempt at self-preservation. The Moro swordsmen were different. 38 caliber bullets didn't seem to stop them at all. If anything, they just made them even holier. Soldiers favor the direct approach, so they asked for bigger bullets. But how big exactly? Colonels Thompson and Lagarde performed a series of controversial and morbid tests to determine the stopping power of various cartridges by firing them into hanged human bodies and live cows. After two days of tests, they decided that the new 1911 pistol should fire 45 caliber rounds. Now, Thompson later designed a submachine gun, nicknamed the Tommy gun, that fired those same bullets, presumably to defend against attack by 30 to 50 feral cows. You have seen the signs around cows, you. Yeah. The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. Decay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have realized that something is wrong with the media <laughs> and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Let's dive out. Just one more. Just one more so we can advance back to where we started. <laughs> Uh, embarrassing. <laughs> this is a very solid technique, isn't it? Good old one finger technique. Eh, one more for good measure. Pop! Pop! Got plenty of ammo. Shouldn't be shy about using it. Yeah, have to get down there somehow. This doorway's all stopped up. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's common knowledge that you get better results the harder you try, but like most common, common but false. Yeah, we get it. Is wrong. Receivers know that there is an optimal level of pressure. too low, and you might slack off. Too high, and you can start to drop under pressure. In the middle, you get the best results. Oops. <laughs> all right. Good thing that didn't kill me. <laughs> Okay. Starting to learn where some of the common drop points for this stuff is, though. 
and spend less time pissing about and just going straight for where we think they're gonna be. Surprise cockbags approach. Bonk. <laughs> Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but the potential is yet, yet to, to be, be realized. realized. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have sent the message. Can you hear it? There is no, the fact that I've heard this tape force. three times tonight, probably more, through your media. means that I haven't heard it, clearly. Weakening the mind and causing widespread dysfunction. We call this the threat. We have developed a technique called Mind Tech to combat this threat. A new set of tech has been issued to train and to prepare you. Busted out the bottom set of stairs. Pumpkin. Oh shit. Don't oh, fuck, 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 Call your eh. mommy. Eh. She eh. doesn't know uh, eh. what to do. Uh. Uh. Please. Please. Don't go in the garage. It's it's off limits. Off it's tight. empty. Okay. Okay. Well, did that to myself already, so. Yeah, that one's not great. That one's not great. Could do without it. Hmm, dealing with flyers too, huh? Wait for it to spin around one more time. off, didn't it? One more floating around, I think, though. Maybe on a floor below. Or above. Or above. Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, fudge me. Okay. time here. Okay, I don't know did it get a chance to I don't think I got a chance to rack one up, so either way. Either way we were sorta of safe. Phew. Alright, was it way above there? Where the fuck 
that go? Oh yeah, it's way up there. Little bitch. I don't wanna deal with that. Don't wanna deal with that. We out. Oh crap. Yeah. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. Stop. There he is. Oh shit, shouldn't have gone over to the corner. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa doctor. Our names anymore, mysteriously. Oh, oh, hmm. What was that? Okay. Oh, it's the one I shot down from before. Ah, <laughs> fucking eat shit, idiot. Oh god, you scared me a little bit. We're just gonna give you a wide berth and do that. Oh, jeez. Okay then. Okay then. All right, see, we didn't panic. The important thing is, we didn't panic. It's gotta give up eventually, right? Oh, Doctor. They are getting very, very scary.
really have a lot to my name, do I? <laughs> Phew. Okay. What? Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo. Okay, dokie then. Where the fuck was that? Down there. Jesus. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I do not need these heart attacks. I really don't. Um, wh what did you see? <sighs> what, they see my light up sketchers or what? Come on. You <sighs> bastards. Oh, good. We're back to the snub nose. Fantastic. Mm. Mm. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. <sighs> I feel like that one wasn't my fault. Like I did everything by the book there, and I still got punished for it. in this particular room, too. Yeah, let's see. There we go. Insight works. <laughs> now nah, we'll just we'll we'll roll with it this one time. I really want to avoid doing that, but we'll roll with it just this once. Just this once.
Oh, how did I? Uh, there we go. <laughs> Oof! Damn. That's got me. When John Moses Browning finished the Colt 1911 pistol, the streets of Ogden, Utah were still lit by gas lamps and echoed with the clatter of horse-drawn carriages. Now, while Zeppelins, propeller planes, and bell-bottom pants came and went, his 1911 pistol is still holding its own in militaries and law enforcement around the world. As the son of a Mormon Mormon gunsmith, Browning had 21 siblings, which may explain his fascination with automatic weapons. Throughout his career, he designed many of America's small arms in World War I and II, including the Browning Automatic Rifle, 1917 Light Machine Gun, uh, M2 Heavy Machine Gun, and the Auto 5 Shotgun. He eventually died at his workbench while working on the Browning High Power Pistol, which paved the way for the Wonder Nines of the 70s. This building... Yeah, this one, I think, this, is, oh, this one is safe, please. I believe. Doesn't make much sense. Like, wh while I know this isn't the same room yeah, as before, safe. it still feels familiar. It's more Ooh, like shit. a room fictional too, huh? place than the real world. It's... It's like someone made Not copies right of, of copies and lost the original intent of all the objects uh, long ago. Fucking... Okay, we definitely got tagged once there. There's definitely a flyer up there somewhere, too. Oh, all the way over there, really? shot nice one up there and there's one over there somewhere maybe and i have one two bullets left all right great well it's all we need for two enemies right Oh boy. Okay. Excuse me. Sure. Yep. Because of course it is. Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but the potential is yet to be realized. We have sent the message. Can you hear it? There is an insidious force 
moving through your media, weakening the mind, and causing widespread destruction. We call this the threat. We have developed a technique called Mind Tech to combat this threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and prepare you. drone and a turret or just a drone based on the erratic movement it's just a drone okay. there it's there it went can I intercept it from down below if it comes back I can interesting wow that's kind of that's kind of a rough way to do it. It's kind of a rough way to do it, but boy, if you need to do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Each <shit. laughs> Wow, that would be uh, very stressful to do if its camera was still on. Phew. Yeah, if they could still do it, if they could still do the little shocky shocks with the camera off, that would be really wild and kind of unfair. <laughs> Just a little bit unfair. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, you didn't see nothing. Fuck you. Wait for that beep. Thank you. I want to get rid of this so I don't have to deal with the noise. Ah, thank you. I do. It's floating over. I think maybe they give me less bullets if I shoot their thing off on the back there. That's why I'm coming up with such a shortage sometimes. I guess that would make sense, huh? Mother! Jeez, there's a second one! 
<laughs> Excuse me. Oh. oh my god, come on, really? Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, that one wasn't my fault. Okay? It's not my fault. Good gravy. <laughs> Damn it. Uh. Not my fault. <laughs> like, come on. There was no even, like, visual indication that it was there. None whatsoever. I knew there was something there, and I was looking around for it, but its little tracking light thing didn't even show. So it's like, yeah, okay, fuck me, I guess. I saw the light after the work. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, yeah, okay, I can tell where it was after that, but boy, howdy. Boy, howdy, was there no other way? Dealing with fear is a necessary skill to combat the threat. Through MindTech, you focus your mind's eye on your fear. The fear is heavy, faceted, and black like obsidian. This fear can be a benefit, or it can be a poison, but it can't be avoided. It must be dealt with. MindTech offers the tools to engage with this fear. Through MindTech, you change yourself to influence your environment to reduce the fear. Control of emotions comes from control of the situation, which results from control over ideas. When fighting in low light conditions, you can use the Harry's technique. To do this, hold your firearm straight out in front of you with your dominant hand. 
Then hold the flashlight in your off hand with an ice pick grip and press the backs of your hands firmly together with the light facing forwards. This provides some stabilizing isometric tension, allowing you to control recoil more effectively than shooting with one hand alone, though still worse than firing with a normal two-handed grip. Hitting the bottom grate most of the time there. PowerPointy again. <sighs> Good thing it's a quick restart because I wouldn't have the patience for this otherwise. America had its first conflict with radical Islamic insurgents in the Philippines in 1899, when they politely asked the Moro people to stop enslaving Christians. Politely, U.S. soldiers right. were used to fighting enemies who would surrender when shot, or at least make some attempt at self-preservation. The Moro swordsmen were different. 38 caliber bullets didn't seem to stop them at all. If anything, they just made them even holier. Soldiers favor the direct approach, so they asked for bigger bullets. But how big exactly? Colonels Thompson and Lagarde performed a series of controversial and morbid tests to determine the stopping power of various cartridges by firing them into hanged human bodies and live cows. After two days of tests, they decided that the new 1911 pistol should fire 45 caliber rounds. Is there not something out on the balcony? Thompson later designed a submachine gun, a nickname the Tommy gun, that fired those same bullets, presumably to defend against right. attack by 30 to 50 feral cows. There was a... I didn't even notice this ladder here. the only way to get down here. Interesting. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, no. Definitely climbing back up and around. Not going to attempt that jump. Mother. <laughs> yeah, no, not dealing. <laughs> not dealing with that. Absolutely not. Come on, they put it right on top? Oh, you little shits. So there's a way to get up there, but I don't want to fucking deal with that. up there. Hmm. Probably when I go for this one, though. Yep. Jesus. <laughs> nope. Fucking nope. We're done. We're done dealing with this. Oh, nice. We're done dealing with the bullshit in between. <laughs> My patience has run out. I think I'll be cool getting dropped back to like one before the the furthest we've gotten. Like I'll I'll entertain that, but I won't under entertain two below. Like that's ridiculous. I got shit to do. <laughs> I got shit to do that doesn't involve hearing about the creeping dysfunction, <laughs> right? Oi. Oi oi oi.
close your eyes and imagine that you are a cloud floating over the city. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Pause. One, two, three, four. That was a drone. Breathe in. Just busted its way in. Excuse Imagine me? A kill drone weaving between the buildings. Hold. Fuck the drone that? looks up, seeing the dark cloud. Breathe out. It starts flying towards cover. Pause. Bang. Lightning blasts it to sparkling. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathing shit. is vital to life. In order to project deadly force with precision, a receiver temporarily becomes one with death and pauses the breath. There's another one down below, too. And one there. <laughs> you. Too quick, I guess. High ground o'clock, bitch. getting kind of late so if we manage to get past this one that'll do if not we'll pick it up again next time the vast majority of shootings take place in low light conditions so if you have a gun you should also have a light uh, now first you need it to identify your target to be sure that there's an imminent deadly threat Second, you can use it as a weapon in its own right. A proper self-defense flashlight is bright enough to temporarily blind a human attacker, which can go far in convincing them to surrender or leave. This, however, will not work on a kill drone. The flashlight is a great tool that has many uses, but it is only as good as the operator wielding it. When using a flashlight in hostile environments, make sure you use it appropriately. And remember, using it lights you up like a Christmas tree and will help your enemy as much as you if you're not careful. With this in mind. What in the bloody fucking- What?!
me. Ugh. Is this gonna kill me? Probably. Nope. Not yet. Sweet time and getting back up though. Uh. Really? Poib, Sue Poib. Mind tech is a collection of techniques that form a system for strengthening and then honing your natural capability to combat the threat. In its most basic form, it is a sequence of thoughts, feelings, and ideas that when executed in proper order result in protection of your mind from outside attacks. Ultimately, with enough practice, mind tech can become a weapon that can strike back at the threat. Um, Jesus, I knew there was a glowy light there for a reason. Couldn't figure out what it was, though. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> 
Phew. Lip sounded awful close by. Okay, must have just made it up top. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Fuck face. <laughs> Jeez, couldn't draw a good beat on the camera. Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> oh, little shit. Can I just sneak up on this fucker without him waking up, or... Oh, gravy. Two of them up there. Let's see the one. I thought there was one on that corner, too. In case. Okay, now I can just sneak up on him and do this. Top, and there's a we brush our in this corner twice a day, but we don't do anything to clean our minds. Are our teeth more important than our minds? 
unless you take active measures to resist it, the threat will continue tainting and twisting your mind to suit its purpose. Oh, to survive the mind kill, you must intentionally train your focus, your compassion, your motivation, or it will atrophy and die. Stay up there. I don't care. Yeah. Fuck. Take me once. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh, excuse me. This tape is designed to test your focus in the face of <laughs> Oh fuck. Excuse me. On your breathing. Ugh. How did you do? If your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Oh goodness. Well, let's try again. Good job. Drone right be or a turret right behind him too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Oi, you're getting feisty here. There's a second one. Oh, there surely is. It's up above. Bonk. Jeez. There's a turret, and there's two more drones in this fucking narrow ass corridor. Are you kidding me? Wow, they really want me to go no further, huh? One bullet on you, you fucker. Another one over there somewhere, too. <clears throat> Last five bullets. Oh, God, it's this room, too. Great. Mm, that was a drone. Jeez, careful.
<laughs> I really went for it. <laughs> uh. Alright, we'll call it there for a night. <laughs> I just wanted to give it a go. See if we could perform under pressure. <laughs> Hot tip, we cannot. <laughs> Alright, well that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be Wednesday night, 7pm CST. We'll be back here on Receiver 2. We're gonna at least start at uh, rank 2 of 5 here. I'm done dealing with 1 and below. Um, yeah, we're just done dealing with 1 and below. Just fuck it. We've, we've been through there a dozen times. We don't need to do it again. Uh, Wednesday night, 7pm CST. We'll be back here with Receiver 2. Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST, it'll be Schmup Book Club, uh, Gate of Thunder, Parsec 47, or Sandvine. And Friday night is podcast, twitch.tv slash Zero Hour Productions. Talk about video games, news, uh, what we've been playing, we'll do some design later on, that's at 7 p.m. CST. Uh, Saturday, we're going to skip stream this week. I think we'll just take a night off and be good to recharge a little bit. And then Sunday night, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be back on CrossCode, the new home uh, DLC. Lots of fun, lots of fun. That'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Wednesday. Bye-bye.